Religious unity. It's a nice thing. It is a nice thing. Okay, 35 to fabricate there. Same thing here. So let's see. I am a great power, so I can influence you. And I can send you a gift. So that's another plus 50. Um... And I need to get you down first, simply because you're the one that has, that's the furthest out of our reach. Oops, I almost clicked this one. Um. Oh. The Malabar is over here somewhere, isn't it? There. Plus one base tax. Well, we're a free stability point. <laughs> the base tax is 70 admin power. The stability is more. So. <laughs> I don't know. Uh. I'm going to take the stability. Uh, I th was just thinking, do I want to invest and try to get up to 3 stability? It's going to get knocked down so fast, that's the thing. That's 150 points. Yeah, we'll just arrange the facilities. I don't want to invest. I'd like to be at plus 1. Plus 3 is a bit much. Uh, Anti-Muslim Edict is fine. I'm going to go with it. Just so we have it. I don't really want to invest in another advisor. I need money so I can bribe these guys and start integration. And we're gonna get there. Uh, Sailor wants to marry. Yes, that's fine. And we got a queen, 262. Two. I've never quite understood that, that new achievement. Let's see, the uh, multiculturalism one. Four different cultures, four different religions in your court. You have three advisors. It's the last one, then your king, so you have to hire. Advisors not of your king's faith, I assume. It's gonna be a bit tricky. Uh, cowardly tactics. Do we have any mountains or <laughs> any cattle mountains anywhere near us? I don't think so. This one was very timely. Oh, very timely indeed. Improved relations with Ceylon. We can start integration now. <laughs> That was quite useful. Come on. Get the diplomat back. Excellent. Excellent. Of course, that's going to be another few thousand troops we need to disband other or... Or lose in our... Wait a second. Uh, the truce with Bamanis. Yeah, okay. It's still a ways away. Still getting there. Right, I wanted to see the whole cattle thing. Because, again, I tend to play this game for achievements, so... So, that's what we're going for. Let's see, simple terrain. Is there a mountain anywhere near India? Other than the Himalayas. <laughs> okay, no mountain anywhere nearby. And they have to be cattle. 
There's one all the way up there. Yeah, I don't think that one's gonna happen anytime soon. But that's okay. We have a subcontinent to conquer. If we're gonna play that long then, that is. Because I think, we're, again, what I'm really going for here are the achievements. And I don't know if... Ooh, the Trade Independence. Whom? Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, the real goal here is to, just to get the uh, Tale of Two Cities. Or two, uh, Tale of Two Families, rather. And then there's the, uh, the optional Sun Never Sets. Which is quite a bit trickier. I mean, we could do it, we just have to go exploration and just beeline for the Cape and then somehow steal London and Hong Kong and Ottawa. Not impossible, certainly. Just takes a while. Then again, if we want to explore and if we want to reach um, America, we kind of have to do that anyway. For the... Uh, Maybe we will do that, actually. Maybe we will try to push for America. Uh, I'm not going to take the foot off the gas for military tech, though. Our air is a 335, so when he comes of age, we can switch. Can't switch anyway for a couple of years, so that's okay. Right, we got the new ship. Uh, that's going to be mothballed. Join with the fleet. How many transports do we have? Because they're certainly the thing we need the least of. If we're going to invade the Maldives, we're, I think 10 is going to be more than enough. So let's grab two cogs at the very least. That's going to help our budget. Oh, the spy got caught. Dang it. Not the spy over here, though. And dash. One more claim to be fabricated. 40 spy. That's fine. That is fine. Oh, they did survive. And they would take a vassalization. Nah, I'm not gonna go for it. We could, but nah. It's fine. You have three Splendor Generators. That's gonna be... That's pretty much <laughs> better than most games of mine, so... I'm okay with this. I mean, the Feudal Society one is pretty much tailored for Muscovy. That's whom they, that one's really supposed to be for. There aren't that many other nations that can have five vassals. Vijayanagar is one of them, since they start with so many miniputs near them. But yeah, it's pretty much just tailored towards uh, Muscovy. And I suppose with the whole breakup over here, it should be helping the Mamluks as well. Possibly Ming. Speaking of Ming... Yeah, they're still quite terrifying. Uh, did you make Bengal or someone like that a tribute? Tributary. No, but pretty much all of Southeast Asia. Oh well. Not a concern of ours for the time being. Um, how long until this, is in this integration is done? June. Yeah, Ming is not being nice to all the, all the poor people there. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna find in if we're, if we're gonna find America. What's the shortest route? I assume it's going to be the island hopping route all the way down around here and over to South America. Mm. But the other way might work as well. I 
Let's see, if we're gonna cross the Pacific. Nah, this, this route is probably longer. Probably far shorter to go through the islands here than to South Africa and then across to Brazil. Probably the faster route. How are we doing? Well, we've embraced the institution. None of the other great powers have. <laughs> of course, Ming won't get that for a long time. Muscovy won't get it for a long time. France is probably the first one to get it. And then there's the Timurids. Who are still fairly stable. Still allied to John for A whole bunch of loyal vassals. Small oil vessels, but still. Let's see, Transoxania, Khorasan, Afghanistan, and Sistan. So not Baluchistan. Okay. Mm, you've had a war with Barber, that's fine. You've not pushed up there. Is that the Ottomans? That is the Ottomans. Wait a second. Ottoman Anatolia. That means they haven't conquered Byzantium yet. Right? Because if they had uh, Byzantium, it would have been Ottomans. I think. But they've definitely gone another way than usual. Um, have they actually had a war with Mamluks? I don't think so. You ate this from Akunlu then. Yes. You devoured Akunlu. What did they ever do to you, huh? <laughs> and you decide to annex Hejaz, that's fine. I'll have to Yemen. So I suspect now that the Ottomans have eaten most of the miners up here. Or have they? Two distinct colors. So Dulkadir and uh, uh, Ramadan or whatever. <laughs> well, that one. I can't really quite remember what it's called. Uh, yeah, those, those two still live by the looks of things. That's fine though. Not our top priority. 40. That's not going to happen for a while. 60? No, 35. There we go. We're going to get that fairly soon. I still want the money, though. Nah, we need we need the points. Okay. I'm starting to wonder what the heck is going on over here. There we go, Ottomans. I was wondering. So why the hell? Okay. So we have taken... Okay, fair enough. We did take this. Why the hell did it say Ottoman... Why did it say Ottoman Anatolia? Did it just do that because I hadn't met their, seen their capital yet? That might be the case. At least now it's proper. Okay, fair enough. The, or they just took this right now. I don't think that's the case. Let's see, history, history. Uh, province history, where is that button? I know it's here somewhere. Or is it here? <laughs> there it is. Province history. And became core 1448. Yeah, that's a long time ago. So it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Oh, right, we built another ship. Let's add that to the fleet. <coughs> Must have more ships. An exceptional year. Oh, interesting option. And tax taxes for um, that's six months, I think. A year? One year. 
One year of... Okay. Extra taxes. 23 ducats flat. So that's half of this. Times 12. Right? That, uh, mathematics. My head hurts already. Uh, 4 ducats. 4 times 12. 40 something something. So okay. Fair enough. That's going to be more than this. Or I can go with this option instead. Two base tax, that's rather tempting. I already got an institution, so I can't really... I wanted to see if that would increase the institution. Event uh, generated base tax. But that's fine, I'll take the base tax. It's one of the few provinces where things are actually nice. Yeah, but Manus isn't going to get this quickly. You are going to get it quickly, though. Or rather, Chandar up there. That's a bit problematic. Oh well. Could be worse. Things could always be worse. Fabricate another claim on you. Thank you. And that means I can retreat that spy. I'll have to integrate you, actually, because to, if I want to form Barat and Cochin. But, uh, let's see, it's going to be you next, I think. You're the one that hates our guts. Could start all the three of them at the same time. That could work, too. And why is it going so much slower? Well, I guess our diplomatic reputation isn't what it used to be. Um, do I want to start something, though? I don't really want to start something because they all are. They all have pretty darn beefy alliances at this point. I think I'll hold off. Let's see what happens. Uh, rice of. Oh, it's more Tamil. More Tamil stuff. Well. Ah, da, 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 da. Friends close and enemies close, so just get a general. Ouch. Huh. <laughs> well, I don't know. So basically, th this must lead to somewhere else. I have no idea where, though. This must be an event chain, because these two are clearly negative options. And that's a positive one. So it must lead to somewhere horrible. And I don't know the event chain. So I guess we're going to go with the upper choice there and just see what happens. So we're going to get a 3440 general. <laughs> I don't know. Something bad must happen from that. Right? Mothball of the ship. We're paying a bit extra for those ships, but that's okay. Quite little fleet we have there. 
I like it. Alright, we can fabricate the last thing, right? Perfect. All your bamanas belongs to us. Alright, we're buttoning up you. It's 44 with you, plus... Yeah, I'm gonna go with you next. Just to shore up the southern front there. Oh right, I slowed down the speed earlier. I completely forgot. Ugh. No. Uh, robber barons. That's not good. The nobles have just gotten over the previous insults. Uh, base tax. And they're gonna take control of a province? No? No, okay, fair enough. Uh, North Karana. Where the bugger all is that province? Here somewhere. This one. Yeah, it doesn't matter one way or the other. Uh, the, it doesn't belong. It does belong to a noble estate. Okay, fair enough. Um. Why did the nobles have that little influence? Oh, the general is, of course, the general thing is mod. No, oh, the modifier for the general is gone. That's why they have so little influence. Uh, what did this province produce? Spices. Well, then we might want the production, actually. Just a matter of how can you please these estates. And I've completely forgotten to check if I can do any fancy footwork. Now that's still a couple of years, years uh, away. Um... It's going to take so much longer to re regain our manpower if we do this. Ah, fine, we'll go with the base tax. Are we doing on power projection? We're doing fine. Age bonus, we're doing okay. And we're almost done, we're almost done embracing the renaissance. That's nice. Of course, we're also behind in tech because of our rather dramatic <laughs> choice. Uh, um, next tech is how many years ahead of time? Three. That's fine. Can't switch for another couple of years. Kind of nervous what's going to happen here, though. April 64, you probably have a CB on the Lannis already. You do. You do indeed. Dip tech. It's already being reduced. Uh, yeah, let's go with it. That's fine. We could try to see if we could get some spy efficiency on, on some more advanced country. But I think that needs to be um, several steps. I, I forget, forget how that works now these days. How much you get out of the spy, spy stuff on someone who's more advanced than you. It ain't all that much anymore, I think. Um, but do get migration. Interesting. Okay, so basically this event seems to indicate that we have some culture shift maybe coming on. I don't know. Or maybe not. Dinner 8. We have some of these folks, Telugus, migrating down these provinces. And I reckon that the southern ones in the Tamil provinces are not going to be pleased with this. <laughs> 